to the uh, second part of the video, and this is uh, going going to go into the afterburn uh, shader and uh, how I set up the different trails. So we're just gonna I'm gonna play this quick, and I'll put up uh, an example. So uh, this is the raw render. So you can see there's a couple problems, but that's nothing to worry about because you could just fix that in Fusion. So um, you know this is just my interpretation of a missile trail. A uh, couple different afterburn systems I put in there, you know, lit it, and you know, just did the standard afterburn. And this is um, with afterburn four. So what I go in uh, to detail is how I uh, output data out of TP to drive afterburn. Because the key, uh, the key for me was this shot is I want the the growing motion. As you can see, the uh, the afterburn grows in there. And now what I wanted to do is um, maybe I can make the noise size just bigger on this one, keep it moving, but, um, this is approved, so, it's, so, the big part of it is, I wanted to keep it small, everything small up, up here, because when it impacts, I don't want it to grow, so it stays small, it doesn't grow big like this, because then you have, you have a big, uh, blah, you know, it, it doesn't look good, so I wanted to keep it thin at the end, um, so that's, that's that. So I'm going to walk through, uh, and give an overview of, uh, how I got to this point. So, I'm going to open up, uh, Thinking Particles here. And this is, this is what I did. So, I have a trail berth. And on the onion, in, in the layer manager, I have I, I on my layers uh, toggle the uh, the, at the the trails so I'm gonna toggle on this layer and so when I send it to render it it has a um, so here here you see the particles and this is just a uh, kind of like core pass to fill in the edge so it's just uh, for for a comp so I have that uh, that trail being born and that's trail C so it's just a standard matter waves you know, coming off uh, the missile particle. And from the previous video, you know how the uh, the missile works. So I'm going to go and activate uh, these two. And uh, these are turning on because I'm using um, the onion. And this is this is how I control uh, control my layers uh, right here. So uh, you know, with the thanks uh, uh, with the thanks to the help of uh, Eric and Crash. They uh, tied this into um, the layer manager, so when we go to render it, it's uh, easy on the calculations. We can disable what particle systems we want. So um, this is this is how I do it. So uh, T is uh, the value that we get from out of here. That what T is is uh, T is the time of from the beginning to the end so it's zero and then one zero at the beginning and then like one at the end or inverse but it's basically breaking that value down uh, into that but you see what I have to do so I take T um, then I then I do its own uh, its own graph I, I re-graph it to this so let's see if we can we'll show this in track view no I gotta select the particles. Okay, good. So here we are. So I regraph at the speed of how they move and how they motion inherit. So at the at the beginning, um, at the beginning of the trail, the particle the trails have more uh, motion inheritance, and then at the end they have less. Um, so that's that's what this does. So and then I just multiply it multiply that curve by 5 and then 50 and then that's what's driving speed and motion inheritance so at the end of their life they have less so they're not expanding as much and at the beginning uh, they got more and I uh, set I set a reference and I also do it the same pretty much here except I don't regraph I don't regraph it on this one I just leave it as B uh, taking from uh, channel uh, the data channel of uh, T Uh, let's see here. How do I do that? Where does T go? Where did I put that? 
嘘。Ah, there it is. Yeah, I have the data channel. So this is this is writing down T for me. So as uh, as far as the uh, missile the missile progresses, uh, that's how I do. Um, so these particles, they know. So now I transfer. I'm transferring the data, and so. Um, I don't put it uh, actually in a in the data channel. To get it, I need it in memory. So when T is going to memory, I can access the reference particle. So I can ask. This is looking at the missile particle, and this is grabbing the value of T. So this is grabbing this is grabbing this value. So I got missile. I'm storing T right here, and then so these trails, the trail particle which are these, these trails, can recall value T, how far along the missile is uh, to its target. Um, where were we? So I have A data transfer and B uh, data transfer, and that's the same. So I pull it in, and then I re-graph it to how I want um, for this. And then what I do is I multiply that by the age. So basically what I'm doing is here I'm saying, okay, I'm going to make a custom curve of how long uh, of I'm re-graphing how afterburn is going to grow along the edge. So at the, uh, the end it's 1, at, at the beginning it's uh, 0, and this is how the afterburn is going to grow. Um, over the dis over t, so I'm driving the afterburn values by t right here, and then right here I multiply them by the age. I could do it back there, but you know I don't, uh, just to keep it separate. So I'm taking I'm taking uh, the value of t, and I'm multiplying it against the normalized age of the particles. So that means you know they're going to grow normally at the uh, at uh, the front right here and then they're going to be small and they're not going to grow here by the age they're not going to grow by age here uh, at the top which is what I want and so this is it's important to remember that this is a 0 to 1 value because now we're going to bring up uh, afterburn and uh, essentially I'll, I'll go over the how I get to the aesthetic of the afterburn so pretty, uh, pretty straightforward um, you know shadows on this and the key, the key to getting the look of uh, the afterburn is, um, oh wait, is this the right one? Yeah, right here. So this is, I'm controlling the growth um, right here. So yeah, I'm just going to so I have this uh, TF float data. So um, AB float, you put in the, the channel name. And so if I look on um, trails A, which is trails go trails A, I have channel 1, AB float. And this is the channel 1 that it's going to, that value. So I type it in here. And if you click replace afterburn value, then that value just, you know, you drive afterburn uh, by that value, but what I'm doing is I'm just taking the zero to one, and I'm the zero. So this is one. This is zero. This is a percentage, and then so this is how I go through the uh, the the TP data. I'm interpolating between that, and so I'm just doing that on the size. I'm not doing that on the noise um, or the levels. I'm just doing those by a uh, old-fashioned particle age, and they have the the same curve. Um, and then on, so this is this is just a fractal um, noise. So this is how it goes like over its lifetime here. So that's what my afterburn is doing here. So you know these are the uh, the important values are uh, you know the noise size. I don't do anything with this. This the gain and bias are real. You can really get a different look by playing with uh, these, which I do on the other uh, trail system. So this was this was that thick um, inner core 
um, of the uh, missile trail. And when I go down here, this is the more wispy, that, that wispy edge um, that I had around them. And uh, that's primarily, it's, uh, the trick to get that, that wispy stuff is putting it on a uh, tendril. And, you know, it's not much of an enemy, but it kind of like grows out like that. Just gets, lose, loses its detail. That's the levels right here that it's losing. And then the bias is like that. So it's really cool with this because the gain in the bias, you can really eat the smoke away if you animate these. I chose not to, but um, it's real. It's a good possibility. And so, you know, that's that's the overview of um, uh, the missile. And I'll, I'll post the, the r a quick time of the, uh, the missile pass. All right, so... Um, I didn't walk through these these ones because it, it'd be rather time consuming and it was a lot of just you know playing playing with spinners until I got something that I liked. So um, I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.